Well, Steve, there's something that happened uh, inside the interview room uh, as Clayton Kershaw was just wrapping up with the media. He was getting ready to walk out, and suddenly he was approached by a 10-year-old boy. And I'm going to let Gerard Moncure pick it up from there. Gerard. Kyle, every now and then, we see some things that happen in sports that remind us why they're important, why it's important for athletes to be great role models. One of those took place, as you said, after Clayton Kershaw's press conference, he was getting ready to leave. A 10-year-old boy named Blake Grice from Parker, Colorado, approached Kershaw. He had a media credential, all right? He has a media Instagram, so he was allowed to be in the room. He approached Kershaw and started telling him the story about how his grandfather, who he was very close to, was a huge Clayton Kershaw fan from Redondo Beach. Now. His grandfather, one of his kind of bucket list things to do was to eventually meet Clayton Kershaw. That never happened. He passed away back in 2014 from brain cancer. So Blake was basically finishing the journey for his grandfather in meeting the big lefty. And this thing turned into a tearjerker in the media room. Check it out. This one was kind of special. So, um, uh, I'm Blake Rice. I'm from Denver, Colorado, and um, I want to tell you a quick little story. Okay. Um, so, my grandpa loved you. He uh, watched the 1988 uh, series, um, and he wanted to meet you and uh, Ben Scully one day. So this moment is important to me because I'm meeting you for him. Oh wow. And okay. um. He was from Redondo Beach, and uh, a little while ago, a few years, some years ago, he uh, died from brain cancer. And, oh my gosh. Oh, come here, dude. Great to meet you. <laughs> Great to meet you. Thanks for telling me. That took a lot of courage to tell me that, so I appreciate that. Great to meet you. Green does sound like an awesome guy. Yeah? Okay. Good. All right. Thanks for coming up. That took a lot of courage, man. That was awesome. Thanks, buddy. Thank you for yeah, time. absolutely. Thanks for coming. All right. Is there a? Do you have a parent here or anything? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great to meet you. Oh, thanks, buddy. All right. I'm going to go watch. Go watch the game, okay? Yeah. All right. Later. Now, what you saw right there was vintage Clayton Kershaw. That's why he is not only beloved here in the Los Angeles area, but pretty much around the country by baseball fans because he is a down-to-earth, sentimental guy that gets it. He understands what's really important. And right there was vintage CK. The, the uh, Blake was amazing, the 10-year-old. So much courage to walk up there in front of all of us. And I'm telling you right now, I'm a pretty hardcore guy. My eyes started watering when I watched that. I mean, it was one of the most emotional things I've seen in sports in a long time. But boy, it made this all-star game something I'll never forget. Kyle, it was unbelievable. Back to you and Steve.